Hey band, so our first game is coming up soon and parent night, so it's time that we learn how to do band buns. This is going to be for people who have long hair, guys included, you're going to have to do something. I'm just going to go ahead and show you all a few different ways. So, uh, I did just have a band bun, like a sock bun with me, but my dog has stolen it. So I'm going to show you how to do one yourself. You can either buy these at the dollar store or in a hair section of like Target or HEB, they're there. They're really cheap. Um, or you can make one yourself. So get a sock the color of your hair. Uh, mine's black, I know my hair isn't black, but it's close. Um, if you have blonde hair, you can get a white sock or you can even get like tan socks. So you just cut off the toes. And then you're gonna start with that side so it doesn't fray. And you're just gonna roll the sock. So it looks a little weird at first especially like once you're going over the ankle. So you just keep going, rolling. And you gotta find the hole so it doesn't get messed up. And then you just roll and you have a sock bun. So you can do this with longer socks, like if you get knee high socks, that works really well too because then it's bigger. Um, but if your hair isn't super thick or super long, then this is really great so that they're not too big because this is a relatively small band bun. You'll see sock buns that like go out to here. And that's what a lot of people use because their hair is thicker. So if you have thicker hair, use that. And or if you have uh, thinner hair or shorter hair, these are great. So next step is you're gonna need to put it into a ponytail. And there are a few different things you can do for this. You can either do like a braid right here and right here, or some people do like upside down braids into their ponytails. Uh, but the main gist of it is that it needs to be really high, really high and really slick. It needs to look neat and tidy. So, a lot. Of Oreo keeps trying to steal this. I'm sorry. Oreo, it's not a toy. So, some people like to get their hair wet or use gel whenever they're putting it up into the ponytail. What you can do for that is use this kind of gel, I think is really great, um, or hairspray, or both. I really encourage you to use both gel and hairspray during this. So you can go ahead and put gel in your hair now or you can wait to do it later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair into a high ponytail. I just wanna brush it back because it really does need to be super, super smooth. You may also wanna think about whenever you are washing your hair, um, which sounds kind of strange, but girls, you know, uh, sometimes your hair works better with you on different days. I know that I like to have uh, freshly clean hair or have my hair in a braid the day before I'm doing a band bun because then it's easier for me to work with. I know if my hair is oily, that I'm not gonna have a good band bun. So just be thinking about that before. So when I say high ponytail, I don't mean right here on the back of your head. I mean really high, otherwise you won't be able to put your shako on. I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit higher. Oh, you don't need to cry. <laughs> right here. Oh, buddy. Okay. And there is our high ponytail. And as you can see, I have really deferring lengths of hair, which I'm sure a lot of y'all do too. This is why we use the gel. So a really good time to put gel in your hair is now. You can take you can take some gel I'm not gonna do it today because I just washed my hair and you can put it in and then whenever you like twist your hair you can kind of like get them to stay down so from here we can do a few different things you can do the sock bun which I'll show you how to do in a second or you can braid this section of hair which I'll show you really quick just braid it down if you need help learning how to braid we can show you that later or you can get someone else to help you so you braid down, and then what I like to do for this is get the tinier elastics, like these. So not the hair ties, but the tiny like rubber bands basically. And you're gonna tie this. And you see the like part sticking out? Uh, how we can avoid that is putting gel in before. So tie that around. And then you can wrap your ponytail like this and then we can use bobby pins. So, let me get my bobby pins really quick. Hopefully Oreo won't let these to play with too. Nope. 
and you're just gonna wrap the hair around and then you can pin where the elastic is like pin the elastic under the hair and then you can tuck the rest of the hair that's remaining under the braid you might need a few bobby pins to do this you can also find uh, different bigger bobby pins that sometimes work better uh, make sure that whenever you're getting these bobby pins that they have the like serrated edges on it not serrated edges like the bumps because that'll help hold now if you see there's like parts of this sticking up you just want to make sure that it's laying down flat or you're gonna choke on that just want to make sure that it's laying down flat So you can just grab those bits and pin them down and it'll take a few times to get it. And again, hairspray and gel are your best friends whenever you're doing band buns. You'll just keep pinning it until it gets down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and show y'all another method. Um, go. Mostly what we do whenever we're doing band buns is just make it look classy. So as long as like, if you're braiding it, just make it look like neat, don't have flyaways. Uh, and if you're doing a, um, a sock bun, you want to make sure that there isn't any bump, like there aren't any bumps. Uh, a lot of times whenever they're, uh, wrapping around, I'll show you in a second, it can get bumpy and we don't want that either. So now if you're going to do the sock bun route, you're going to get your sock bun that you either made or you purchased at the store. And you can do this two ways. This is the easiest way in my opinion, is just put your hands through and wrap it around or pull your hair through it. So it's basically like you're putting on like a hair tie. And then you're just going to spread your hair out all the way around the bun maker. And then you can either use, oh, this looks weird, but you can either use these elastics, like the hair ties, or you can use the tiny uh, like plastic ones. I like to use these ones because they don't catch on my hair as much. Just make sure it's all smooth. And then you're just gonna pull this down around. And then it gives you a little bun like that. And then again, you can do two things from here. Uh, well, first you're gonna need to separate your hair. And you can do either two sections or three sections, whatever you need. And then you can wrap this around the base and you'll get a smooth look like that. Or you can braid these sections. And that's whenever you might need to get into doing multiple braids or multiple sections. Uh, if your hair is shorter like mine. So I do is I just braid this section and then again, I'll use an elastic just because they're smaller and they fold tighter. And we'll tie that right there. And then the same thing with this side. They don't need to be exactly even. They just need to not be sticking out like they are. And I'll braid this side going as far down as you can because it's a little bit easier to manage the braid not sticking out rather than the ends of your hair sticking out. And then use this right here. And there we go. And no, you don't leave it like this. You're gonna take the braid and you're gonna wrap it around the hair tie that you put over the bun. So once you wrap it, you'll again Get your bobby pins out, preferably the ones that have the ridges so that it stays. And you'll have to do multiple. So I like to start with pinning it where the elastic is, kind of under the elastic and then pushing through into the bun. And then I like to go ahead and do the other braid to make sure that we can get them in the right spots. And then I do the same thing. I pin under the elastic and into the bun. And then we need to go around and we need to tuck this part in and we need to uh, do bobby pins around. So then I start where I started the braid. So I started the first braid right here and I'm just gonna do bobby pins all the way around the bun where the braid is. And then the same thing with the ends, like this end right here, I'm just going to tuck under that initial braid. Oreo, sit. So we're just gonna tuck this right under that initial braid and we're gonna put the bobby pin right in there and then boom, it's gone. And this is where we get our hairspray, hairspray all of it, right? 
Okay, so another thing that I like to do is I like to have a comb handy. It's, if you need to use combs for putting it into the bun, that's great. But I also like to have a comb uh, to make sure that everything's smoothed out. So what I'll do is I'll spray the hairspray and I'll take my comb and I'll pull it in. So just make sure that the hairspray is completely coated your hair and that there aren't any flyaways. So this really helps you catch everything cause you, that you can't see. Cause then you can just go around and do the uh, comb everywhere.